do cry. At work, at home, wherever, man. Some of us cry all the time, some of us not so much. Here's a list of things I've cried at this week. I cried when I watched this documentary. It's about Down syndrome kids dancing. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's just so moving. I'm just, I'm actually crying again just thinking about it now. Then I cried when I saw a picture of a baby orangutan having a bath. Oh, hello, soapy monkey. <laughs> I thought about my dog dying. He's only four. It's years away, but sometimes I just think about it and it makes me really sad. When some of our footage that we had been, um, you know, given permission to take had been used in a manner that was not in accordance with the intention, uh, you can understand the, the huge pain and disappointment that families felt. In a way, it was almost a sense of betrayal. Our work is around influencing society and their preconceived ideas or biases toward people with Down syndrome through the media. Mm. So where are we in all of this? What, what is the responsibility of the individual um, and what is the responsibility of the media? I can't wait to go to India. I'm a little bit so I hurt close. It's a big performing in India and I'm really happy. Um, it's going to be fun. I try not to pick up any in Indian women. Yeah, I have big my family. I love Russian Taiwan again. I love Indian and I love food. And my, and my best day, I love this all my life. Thank you, I love Indian. <laughs> determined to reach my goals. I am a caring and valued friend. I have something to offer. I give back to my community. First time when we visited the developmental neurologist there in Nagpur, well, she was assessing her. I just apprehensively asked her, will my daughter be able to play like other normal children? <laughs> she smiled and said, not only play, she'll do all other things which other children can do. And that was the moment I decided I'm going to take a lot of efforts with her and make her an independent girl. She has Down syndrome. She's retarded. 
and obviously I knew what retarded meant so yeah I mean I, I don't remember what happened after that for, for a, a few minutes and then I told that uh, she also has a complicated uh, heart, a very, very bad heart. She had four uh, uh, holes in all four chambers of her heart and uh, she has to go, uh, go through an open heart surgery soon. And not even one of them uh, suggested that we go ahead with the surgery. So indirectly they told us to let her die, you know. Why would you want such a child in your family? शादी के दस बारह साल बाद बेटा पैदा हुआ हुआ है मैं माँ बन गई हूँ यह सुनकर बहुत अच्छा लगा लेकिन डाउन सिंड्रोम कहने के बाद मुझे ऐसा लगा कि इतने साल के बाद परमेश्वर ने लड़का दिया है और यह ऐसा दिया है बहुत दुख हुआ है सोसाइटी के लोग आसपास के पड़ोसी लोग और गांव वाले सब कुछ उसे पागल ही कहते थे कुछ तो कहते थे उसे जिंदा मत रखो उसके चेहरे पर तकिया दबाकर उसे मार दो सर अदीनी खुद हाँ सर अदीनी मैं खुद हूँ सर अब गधा हाँ हाँ नहीं हूँ हाँ पागल आद कोयंदे Ah, okay, yeah. <laughs> when he born, uh, no one tell me, uh, but the nurses come and ask me was the question unusual because I have two boys already. Uh, they just ask me, is he like his, look like his brothers? We said, yes. Normally kids, they come the nose down or something. I said, yes, he look like his brothers. So two days I left the hospital. Uh, later on, when I go to the doctor, he didn't tell me. He knows that he's Down syndrome, but he didn't tell me. Uh, I was just worried, not very worried. As I said, why Abdullah is not crying? This his tongue is out, out uh, always. Uh, what happened is when he turned one year, his doctor was uh, away for the holiday, and I visited another doctor, Indian doctor. At that time, the doctor said, Oh, the Mongolians, that time they said, the Mongolians, they have uh, uh, flu uh, continuously every time, every often. That word is very different for me. So what does it mean, Mongolia? <laughs> I raised him up without any knowledge. It was really, really very hard. I don't know how to deal with him because there was no early intervention, no, what do you call it, so house visit, what, nothing. No knowledge, nothing at all.
instant reaction is one of shock and, and um, I guess, puzzlement. And uh, a feeling of uncertainty. Um, you know, your dreams and aspirations just suddenly get, uh, get smashed. Um, and it's, it's, uh, it's not your head that's talking, it's, it's your heart. And um, it's hard to control because it's the most raw of feelings and emotions when you see something that you create not turn out how you sort of um, want it to in a very sort of uh, selfish way. I remember so clearly at two in the morning, one night, my husband and I through tears um, just looked at each other and we said, you know what, we have to um, choose a path. And we chose a positive path and we chose that this would actually be um, our life and we would be her champions and we would make sure that she would um, show the world how awesome she was. and. Um, and she was a part of us. And we didn't know how the future was going to unfold, but we knew that we loved our little girl and we would um, be her champions. When we found out, we then had to go and research and talk to people and learn um, about what it is and what it isn't and what does it mean and um, why, why, uh, did this happen to us? And again, that, that very sort of raw, selfish, immediate um, emotion was there. We wanted to support all of our daughters in all of their um, interests and passions and they all loved dancing and they were all attending the local dance school after a number of years, it was really evident that whilst Ali still loved dancing, she wasn't flourishing in that environment. Um, she would come home and she would be free and express herself to music and it was beautiful to watch and she really loved it. She's just a girl and she's on fire. Yeah. I couldn't tell my daughter that she can no longer dance and she's going to watch her other three sisters continue on and I had to find somewhere that she could and I spent six months ringing everywhere I could think of throughout Melbourne asking, pleading people to start something and uh, I, I really just thought one day, you know what, this is not very hard. I found an incredible teacher who had no experience with Down syndrome. That was the beautiful thing about her. And she's still our dance teacher today. Come on, bring the fire back. I had and, and my partner had both worked with people with Down syndrome quite a lot. So um, we knew what we were 
um, letting ourselves in for. So it, it probably wasn't as much of a shock for us as it is for other people. One of the main challenges that as um, a family who migrated here 24 years ago, we, were, we had very little family around us. Um, and so a lot of our support needed to come from each other and also from fa fr friends, really, and support. Ned was, had a home birth. Uh, and so we didn't actually have a doctor involved for the first two days. But after the first day or so, it did look to us like maybe Ned had Down syndrome, so we booked in to the hospital and the doctor was very good, but he confirmed that Ned had Down syndrome. I feel very proud of what Ned does every day, really, because he constantly goes off and does things that I never imagined that he would achieve. Um, and that is things like getting the train to Melbourne and uh, going off to Bendigo and studying interesting things. And he relates to adults very well, um, but he hasn't had a lot of opportunity to relate to other younger people. Um, because there haven't been younger people who've been very interested in being friends with him, but I think Emotion 21 has actually changed that. Well, we've worked a lot on Ned being independent, so for example, um, for, uh, some of his schooling was in Bendigo, and he would at first catch a bus uh, from Castlemaine to Bendigo, so there's a degree of supervision, and then later he, we worked up to him catching a train from Castlemaine to Bendigo, which is half an hour's journey. and then. Um, making his own way. Gradually at the other end he would learn how to walk, his, walk himself to school at the other end. And that was a good step towards travel to Melbourne, which is a longer journey. Pretty much from the start with Emotion 21, Ned started going to Melbourne on a Saturday to be part of the performance group. And Ned's continued to go down there every Saturday for the last three years. Sometimes he goes on his own on the train and then takes a taxi and, and now uh, we're working the tram into that uh, independent travel. Uh, tram's a bit harder because Ned tends to fall asleep and, uh, and, they miss this, and he can miss the stop. <laughs> Hope when the moment comes, you say. I think until recently, until the last few years, he thought people with Down syndrome were, were not that fantastic. He didn't have a great self uh, image about himself. I think he probably wished he didn't have Down syndrome. But, um, you know, we used to just say, oh, Ned, you've got Down syndrome, get on with it. You know, you've, you've got no, you know, you can't do anything about it sort of thing. And now he feels that this experience of having Down syndrome has given him so many opportunities and like going to India and being in movies and, um, you know, being dancing at Federation Square and all sorts of interesting things. Here, and back to three, four, and point, and point. This is just kind of cool, just grooving for the chorus. Five, six, hold it all. One, two, jump your feet up. Three, four, change one, two, on your heart. Victoria Walk alone around. is estimated to be 4,000 uh, people living with Down syndrome, 13,000 people living with Down syndrome in Australia. Um, but, you know, we're part of a big global community. There's 7 million people living globally with Down syndrome. Um, probably one of the reasons I felt the... Um, the tour to India was so important is because there's 1.3 million people with Down syndrome estimated to be living there right now, today. Babu, I studied the overall uh, social uh, systems which were available and around us and realized that no, this society can definitely help us in dealing with such case. Uh, so the idea was to uh, not to label a child as a child with Down syndrome or child with any disability. 
and treat the child as an integral part of the society. And what I had experienced was, if you communicate with the society in a positive manner, society comes back with positive uh, solutions. And that was quite a positive experience which we had and that uh, enthused uh, myself and Rashmi both to see to it that Devanshi is put in a, a regular play group. When I first saw my daughter, I held her in my arm. The first thought which came in my mind that, yes, my family is complete now. My sister's magical dream. My mom entered. Your uncle saw a wish list on Amazon and sent this. She said, I was so happy. The clock struck five, so I put on my shoes and was just heading out of the door when mom, as usual, said, take your sister along. I escaped and shut the door just in time to deafen her voice. Thank God, I said to myself. When one of my friends asked, did your mother again ask you to bring a retarded sister? I said no. परमेश्वर का ये देन है उसको हम बढ़ा के दिखाएंगे कि हमके आंतरिक जो ताकत हमने आप उधर उस हॉस्पिटल में ही पैदा हुआ इसलिए हमने तय किया कि जो एक ही बच्चा है उसको हम पढ़ा के बढ़ा के जो जो करना पड़ता हम कराएंगे लेकिन सोसाइटी वाले ने बहुत हमको तकलीफ दिया समाज व्यवस्था जो है वो ऐसे बच्चों को जग जीना नहीं कर देती इसलिए हमने कहा जीना देंगे तो हम स्कूल उसके साथ जाते थे स्कूल उसके साथ आते थे वो हमारी प्रथम देश की माता उसको खंदे पे लेके उसको पदर लेके स्कूल जाती थी क्योंकि वो न देखे स्कूल में वो खूब घबरा था था उसको शू बार बार कहता था मैं पाठशाला के बाहर बैठ जाती थी अंदर जाकर सब कुछ साफ उसके कपड़े बदल कर साफ करके वहाँ फिर बिठाती थी और बार बार टीचर बुलाते थे बच्चे लोग उसका टिफिन फेंक देते थे चप्पल छुपा कर रखते थे तो हमने समझा कि जो सोसाइटी वाले जो लोग हमको तकलीफ दे रहे हैं त्रास कर रहे हैं उनको हम एक दिन बताएंगे कि लड़का हमने कैसा बनाया of NZ interest and I get to do it at home by myself in the womb.
got a lot of dancers who have never travelled outside of Australia. So for them to go to India and have this experience when perhaps they haven't had experiences similar to this, one, it's going to be absolutely amazing and eye-opening and they'll have the most amazing time. But two, I just hope that it's not too overwhelming um, for them. But I think we're very caring. We've got carers coming, we've got parents coming, we've got a nurse coming. We've very, um, got a lot of a dedicated team putting together a very tight itinerary so that everything we do is really well thought out and we would never want to put our participants in a situation um, beyond them. Being a carer is a full-time job. Um, and when you're a carer of an adult, and, and, and you're caring for someone who's 30 or 40 years of age, you know, it's getting tiring. And I think it's really important that we provide these life highs along the way as well. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Just to let you know, you're able to use your electronic devices in all stages of flight. However, then I'm your customer. पहनना बीती हुआ था तो के तरवर तरम तारा ने तम दून दून तर बाढ़ का हुए तीसून माला फुन्न तीतोले ले आए गाबिर तेरिंग ताती ती तीतोले ले आए पुनेत उन्हों चीची तेरिंग ताती माला पाते ले ले आए पुनेत मजे I came across various special schools wherein I had seen children who enter at the age of six and the kind of uh, independent living skills which they had attained even after they turned 16 were not really significant. So it gave me a really pathetic picture of a grown up adult who is 16 years old ready to sort of graduate from the special school, but not being able to fold a handkerchief. And most important, um, what we would understand by the term education was to a larger extent absent in special education system or so-called special education system. तो हमने उसके पंडित डॉक्टर के पास जाके लेटर लेके आए कि कि इसे मोजाइक डाउन सिंड्रोम उसको प्रॉपर गाइड गाइडेंस मिल गया तो अच्छा जीवन जख्म सकता है it was a battle to manage the school system so we chose for Ned to go to mainstream schooling all the way through his education um but that I don't feel where we were living in Australia it wasn't particularly um um set up to offer opportunities to children with down syndrome in mainstream schools so he was always a trailblazer and he was always sort of um out on his own and i think that made for quite a lonely experience for him in some ways it was clear to us that ned could and should be as involved in normal community life as much as possible so, for example, he went to the local kindergarten at the, at the normal age that other children would begin and had a, had a great time there. And we were in a town where there was a Steiner school and he, his older brother was at the Steiner school, so it seemed natural that Ned should go to that school, which he did. But to make that possible, there's a lot of support that we're putting in place. So I had to have a lot of battles with um, teachers who, who didn't really understand that he had a right to be there. They did in, in one 
you know, theoretically, yes, uh, any, a child can have an education where they like, but in reality, there are all sorts of situations where we had to really um, fight for his rights and, and advocate for him. Um, but we're very pleased we did, because we feel that now he is extremely able to live in, in the world, you know. when she appeared for her 10th board exams. And I was so proud of her because she has written all the papers on her own and uh, giving exam in the school or school exam was different and appearing for a board exam was different. And, and that, I, I was so proud of her. I just hugged her when she got the results, when, when, when we got the results. It was crazy now when I think about it, but my husband was always in. He said, no, no matter what, it's our, she's our child and we'll have to go for the surgery. But I said, no, if you want to, I mean, if you want to take my opinion, I don't want her to be like a vegetable because that's what I've been told. The acceptance should start from the family first. If you accept your child completely, nobody can, you know, refuse or cannot accept your child. So one day he was, he was at, at work and I was alone with Arshia at home and she, she started, you know, I mean, uh, breathing a little weird. And she, she started crying. And I, I, I thought something's happening and I just, just, I couldn't see her breathing that way. Uh, we came back and we took her. From the time when I saw her till the time we took her to the hospital, she was in my arms and she was crying and I was cursing myself so bad that, you know, probably she's going through that because of me. On the operation day, when the doctors were taking the surgery, there is a door that will be closed. You can see the glasses with glasses. So, you know, at that time, we were thinking that there is a film scene, the child is going to see the child, and... Uh, you will be emotional, 
आशिया डॉक्टर्स की गोद में गई अच्छे से बाय किया और उसके बाद एक बार भी उसने मुड़ के नहीं देखा On the streets, I mean, India, one time, and, it, and there was loads of people there, and we danced for all of them. Now, before we start the performance, I would like to invite kids there. Please, you have to say a few words about your group. Right. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. We're so honoured to be here. Okay, we love India. It's been an amazing experience. These guys have been travelling the world. They're here for you today. Let's give them what they deserve. An enormous welcome. Go! My favorite music, love, and Mr. Bieber. Sweet food, drink, makes me happy. I like my family. Respect to me. Yeah, this is my family, my wife. In the future, come. Yeah. Life will say we love. We are before life. We are people to see you I feel that he can't be very independent to travel, to go and come, to live by his own. That's my dream. I want him to live by his own, I think. I know he has good brothers, really good families, and he can't live by his own. Abdullah, he loves the family. That worry me is. Like, always what he's saying. Mom, don't leave me and you are everything for me. Thank you, thank you. Keep going, keep breathing. My dad used to be um, third, third friend of us. So I look at dad as a friend. Abdullah does the same thing. So when, when uh, dad passed away, um, those moments when I sit alone and so he came or probably I'm just in the car going somewhere and Abdullah with me before without even I'm talking he just say that he said Muhammad don't worry you're gonna be fine <laughs> Hey, you tell him to go. I'm going to 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 tell him to go. हम उसको प्रिंसिपल जाके मिले कि ये ट्रायल करने का सब लोगों को दिखाना है जिसको बुद्धि नहीं है ऐसा बोलता है वो बुद्धि क्षेत्र में भी काम कर सकता है हमको दिखाने का
actually down syndrome children they trust person everybody easily and being in delhi i always fear of sending her alone because anybody can misuse uh, that trust though i know she has so many other uh, abilities also and i want her to be totally independent going wherever she wants with whomever she wants but sending her alone uh, in metro or मैं तो अच्छी करती हूँ काम वैसे तो वैसे कस्टमर साथ है मेरे को तो नहीं रखता I at first doubted if she'd really be able to guide me through and uh, would be able to give me details of what I'm expecting but uh, as I told you I was ple pleasantly surprised the the, the kind of uh, eye for detail that she has and she takes special yeah, sort of care yeah. and of course the extra sweetness yeah. and it was personally for me an education हम फोटो खींचते हैं पहले बाद में आपका ईमेल मेल आके पूछता है अच्छा बाद में आपका ऐप डाउनलोड करना पड़ेगा कैश में फोन ऐप में अच्छा डाउनलोड करना पड़ेगा हाँ जी ऐप डाउनलोड करना पड़ेगा नेक्स्ट स्पीड में मैनेज हो जाएगा मैं टस्टिंग कर लूँ कस्टमर रख लूँ शेयर कर लूँ बिल का बिल काट लूँ बिल रख लूँ पैक कर लूँ और किचन में बर्तन धो लूँ Two children that have paid to be Congress delegates. Thank you. But they're in the program. So what we would like to do is a summary. Hi, I am Paul. I am the project ambassador of the Motion Trainer One. Say hello, friend. Howdy. Hi. It's Kate. Hello. I am the I'm the I'm the ambassador of Dance and Dance Scotland. Really? That's why I'm here. Well done. Congratulations. I speak out for people with Down syndrome. Okay. We are can't talk both. Fantastic. And so, what is it like living in Scotland? Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have our big fitters jump up. Now, as you can see, we don't have any balls. We yeah, don't have any sticks. Well, we've got sticks. We've got balls, white balls. So, we're just going to stand and revise the choreography, okay? I am healthy, fit, and strong. I am happy when making my own decisions. It is my
my right to lead a happy, healthy, full life. Do you want to start with Paul's play? Or do you want to walk with Paul? It's a bit funny because we've all got mixed up with our cultures, so we're just like one big global community. Me, myself, I, I had this one. I do like this. I had my say. Um, and I did my say. No. No, okay. Well, let's pick out a flag from the room and you can walk with that person. Does that sound good? All right, what, what flag would you like? Would you like the India flag or would you like the Australian flag? Yes, yeah, Australian. Like Australian. Australian? Okay. It is my pleasure to welcome you all to the 12th World Down Syndrome Congress at Chennai, India. With the birth of my child, Bubbly, our family believed that change was possible. India very clearly has a long way to go before it reaches a sense of equality in relation to people with disabilities. We're celebrating people with Down syndrome. We want them to feel so comfortable and honored that we are actually celebrating the fact that they came into our lives. He's the first person in the world who is working in library. Is to proud to humko bhi hai, institute ko bhi ho gaya. Our president award mil gaya, piche usne national award mil gaya, the international award. ये पहले बार प्रथम इसके रूप में ही भारत को मिला है आई अवार्ड मॉर्न इन अ मॉर्न टाउन ऑफ इतर तरंगी दैट टाइम डॉक्टर टोल माय पेरेंट दैट आई हैव डाउन सिंड्रोम दैट टाइम नो बडी वॉक नोइंग ऑफ डाउन सिंड्रोम in my town
worry, I guess, more about Ali um, reaching her potential and living a happy and fulfilled life where she's safe as well. Um, Ali has wonderful aspirations to move out of home, to live in her own house and invite her over for dinner, uh, invite us over for dinner, um, to go to work. She wants to get married as she should. Um, and she has dreams of, you know, caring for children when she's older. And I want her to get everything that she wants. She's got to be passionate and, and very much wanting to go, to go that path. Um, but overall, no different to our other children, happy, healthy and independent. where they are more acceptable and of course I'll be uh, definitely I will love to do that because my daughter will be happy she will be able to experience that aspect of life also which one should <laughs> Hoping you take that jump You don't feel the fall Hoping the water rises You built a wall Hoping the crowd screams out You're screaming your name Hope if everybody runs You choose to stay Hope that you fall in love and it hurts so bad. The only way you can know, you give it all you have. I remember many years ago walking down the street with Ali. We were holding hands, walking past some shops, and there was a wedding dress shop. And Ali pulled me back, stopped, and pointed. And she said, Mum, that's the dress I want to wear when I get married. And I just thought, of course. Um, I want to be a mother. Like, I want to be like a mother when, like, look after kids in the house. We also enjoy watching movies and, and, and listening to music. Ned has a great knowledge of music. He, he has a big music collection and he knows, uh, he knows good music from the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s. So I can enjoy some of those, uh, especially some of the older songs with him. 
ये भाई उसके अच्छे है उसे बहुत प्यार करते हैं उसकी चाचा चाची है लेकिन आज तक सगा भाई भी अपने भाई को नहीं पूछता हमारे पश्चात उसका क्या होगा ये चिंता बहुत हमें सताती है वह अकेला पड़ जाएगा उसका क्या होगा आगे कौन पूछेगा उसे यह चिंता हमें लगती है It was a colony park. All my friends were playing. Why, in the name of Jesus, would my sister dream about my friends playing in my colony park? This dream was getting weird to understand. I stood a little longer to make sense of it. When suddenly I saw my sister running, I saw myself and my friends playing joyfully with her. She seemed the happiest, running, chasing, playing with me and my friends. I left the dream. The next evening, I got ready and wore my shoes. I was getting out of the door. When I realized something, I entered back, and my mom said, "Your football's there." No, I asked, "Where's my sister?" Our show, hurry up! Our show. Hurry up! other children understood ashia more than we could understand because they had been with her for last 2 years they knew what is she trying to say they knew what is she wanting right now they knew when will she react they knew when will she not react so it was really magical when the children were telling us ma'am she is good ma'am she is happy ma'am we'll take care <laughs> Akshay, do you need to repeat it once again? Will you do it along with us? Yes. Yes. All right. We understood at one point of time that inclusion was a policy that came in by the direct DOE, the Directorate of Education, and it came in as a part of CBSC. We in fact welcomed the idea. हो जाएगा। अरे बेटा तुम बेफक हो जाओ। यहाँ तुम्हारी कभी महसूस नहीं होगी। हम सब लोग मिलकर साथ हवा लेंगे। पूरी सोसाइटी बाबा के साथ के साथ है। Whenever we come to know about any parent having a Down syndrome child, uh, at times we go and meet them. At times they come um, uh, at our house also, and uh, we try to counsel them and give proper guidance. And uh, as the technology was enabling uh, all of us, we thought of setting up a Facebook group, a WhatsApp group. There was nothing. especially in the indian context there wasn't anything that i could find and i was facing a lot of challenges every single day and uh, they want to i mean some of them were bad but a lot of them could be dealt with and that's what i wanted to tell the new parents that it's just the way you know you look at it you know from one angle you think there is no way out but If you just walk a few steps, maybe cross a bridge. You know, there's a whole new world behind you. It's going to be amazing. See those big LED screens? We're going to have all this confetti and glitter all over them. You need a tissue. I think Burns going to grab your tissue. So we get to be before for Emotion Twenty One, and I'm so not nervous to feel confident. I'm just ready to walk tonight, so I'm just really excited. I'm nervous.
पैसे तिथे लोक आले होते तर कशा करता महासत्ता पेपर मी सर्व्हिस करणे लगा सात बजे जाता था रात को सात बजे जाकर दो बजे आता था हमें लगता था वो कैसा वहाँ काम करेगा यहाँ तो इस रूम से उस रूम तक अंधेरे में नहीं जाता था कैसा करेगा लेकिन वो कहता था और जब उसे पाँच सौ रुपये पेमेंट मिला और रात को बारह बजे उसने मुझे उठाया और कहा आई यो लो पेमेंट तुम्हारे लिए मैंने पेमेंट लाया है तो दिन मैं कभी नहीं भूलूंगी I'm determined to reach my goals. I am a caring and valued friend. I have something to offer. I give back to my community. I am healthy, fit and strong. But I was very friendly with them. I felt very bad. Man, they did not take me to picnic in the first year. But next year, I went to picnic. I enjoyed it very much with all my friends. Ash, my husband wasn't home, and just two of us, and I said, OK, Ash, let's go out, and we got into a Uh, shop and I liked something and I was trying and as soon as I came out, Rashi said, "Mama, not good." And I, you know, that that second, what oh, all antennas, you know, went up. I think, like, you know, this is this is. I I thought this would never happen, but it happened. And I, I, I you know, we are so limited in uh, expecting. But that's the day I realized, you know, maybe all my dreams that I had may come true. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
my relationship with, with my daughter is a you can say that a rainbow in my life my days can't complete without playing with her in the evening because she is eagerly waiting ah 18 now i have life is really beautiful interactions with thousands of families reveals that once there is acceptance children with down syndrome or children with uh, special needs in general make your life more colorful why ha i'm going 6 7 he got 7 he's with dad um i got these 5 good job a pot of gold for me and for ali is 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 those aspirations that we we co-create she loves dance go girl go she loves learning she loves doing different things how do we enable and and continue to give her those those beautiful opportunities so she can find fulfillment in in whatever she wants to do and so um she's changed my life so 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 much for the better the highs are higher um the joys are, are more um fulsome as a result of experiencing the color of life with a person who has differing abilities. Yedda kalimi na usaku bira, but inta gata di tinsabu shoya subba na matsubba, ashan la hirik yedda. Tru anda utu. Shukran. It's very special for me. He gives me love. He understands really everything. If I am sick, if I am sad, Abdel understands me really, really. He knows from my face, and I'm happy to have him. Really, I enjoy with him. I just need, I just need to get out of this nursing home so I can actually achieve getting all this. There's passionate jobs that I really want to do. It's like never let a dream or an opportunity to slip through your fingers. I'm a wicked boy. Dancer. I'm being a dancer. Super good. What? I'm a wicked dance teacher. People quite often say to me that uh, having a child with Down syndrome must be really hard, but all parenting is really hard. People say that I got my daughter because of bad karma, but I say it is because of good karma. After 13 years, I'm definitely not changing for the world. She's changed my life. Because we just love him the way he is. I say, well, he's funny. 
and he always makes us laugh. It's just part of his personality, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I wouldn't change him, and I love him no matter what.